our peace is needed, of course, uh, the need to be very thoughtful about those function, sanctions, also important right there. Well, let's go to another topic of importance to us in Nigeria. About a month ago now, uh, President Bola Tinubu declared uh, a state of emergency on food insecurity to tackle the increase in food prices. Well, according to him, the plan was that in the immediate term, some savings from the field subsidy removal will be deployed into the agricultural sector, uh, focusing on revamping the agricultural sector and, of course, making food more available and uh, accessible or affordable is the word now for a lot of Nigerians. But it's not just at the federal. Uh, let's head to the states now and see what states are doing following this declaration, which is just about a month now. I think that was done on the 13th of July, so it's almost a month now. We have joining us for this conversation, the Commissioner of Agriculture in Oshu State, Mr. Tola Fasheru, joins us uh, virtually from the state capital. Good morning, Mr. Fasheru. Thank you for your time. Yeah, good morning, Nini. Thank you for having me. So, um, when this declaration was made, obviously it's coming from the top, but we know that people live in states. Um, how did you in Oshu State receive this, and what have you been doing about it? Uh, well, um, in Oshu State, we have um, a governor that is um, people focused and believe so much in ensuring that, um, you know, irrespective of the situation, that its people, uh, you know, are happy and they live a, a good life uh, and that their livelihood is maintained, you know, irrespective. And so uh, my governor, His Excellency Senator Nuruddin Jackson, Nadimola Adeleke, uh, has put, put up a whole lot of things to ensure that, you know, people are, they don't, you know, get, you know, into extinction because of this this, this problem. Uh, you recall that as soon as he uh, came in, the issues of the um, backlog of salaries and the um, entitlements to the, to the, to the, um, to the workers, he resolved all of that. And then, um, you know, and then, of course, you will see that his pilot program, you know, to ensure that lives are better for the people is through agriculture. To ensure that, you know, agriculture is a, is a, is a, is a mainstay for, for, for our people in this country. And um, he's saying that he wants to do a revolution to see that there's food security, there's food sufficiency uh, for our people. We know that the the federal government is trying to do a few things in terms of palliatives uh, there and there, but we are also ready to see that the youths are, are empowered. We we drive industrialization through through a Greek, you know, and um, uh, we there is a revolution that we we want to make um, Ocean State a model a model state for 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 others. So we are looking at. Um, uh, the cash crops, you know, are Greek. Uh, when, it, when it comes to Oshun State, we have these key, key strategic products. The cocoa is there, uh, cashew is there. Uh, we have the, uh, the, 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 the palm oil, the palm kernels. We have rice. Uh, we have maize. We have cassava. We're working on all these things. You know, we 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 you know, we we hitting the ground running giving access, you know, a lot of meetings we started having with the private sector, those who are going to be partnering with us um, to ensure that we we guarantee um, food sufficiency for our people. And then we are able to uh, ensure that export is driven from our show. And of course, you know that we are also close to, to Lagos, uh, to the port. So we're going to take advantage. We're going to take advantage of that. I want to grow the whole value chain. You know, we want to grow the whole value chain and then ensure that processing of these items, of these uh, food items, uh, is encouraged. So our doors are open already, and we have been meeting even with uh, strategic development partners in, in, res in respect of this. Yeah, interesting, because, uh, of course, uh, you as a former president of uh, African Cashew Alliance Exports, obviously we expect that your interest 
the, you know, in the value chain. Uh, and, uh, but before we get to even the value chain, in spite of these efforts by the um, Nigeria's government, both at the state and the federal, we still have a huge level of post-harvest losses, about 60%. And that's, I mean, if we're talking of food security and we're still having wastage of about 60%, that poses a huge challenge, you know, to this food security. Yeah, you're, you're right. Um, one of the areas we're going to drive our agriculture is through uh, technology. Yeah, true technology. And um, that will help us to save a lot. Technology and, of course, capacity building, training the farmers. These are things I've done in the private sector uh, window before. Now, you know, with, with the magnanimity uh, and the grace of God and that of my ex, my governor bringing me to, to drive the, the, the to drive agriculture in the state, we are going to see that... Um, the late uh, wastages are, 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 are minimized. We did that in Kashu already. You know, uh, we, before now it was really terrible what our, our farmers were, were losing. But we trained them. You know, we taught them the best um, uh, agricultural practices, how they should dry their cashew, how they should package and um, um, store their cashew to, to be very wasted. All of this we're going to do across the, the various um, commodities that we have in, in Osho to see that um, uh, one of the things that we're also doing, even for the cattle people, they're trying to get them refrigerating vans to see that they're, 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 you know, their meat is preserved, is healthy, is wholesome. You know? So it's, it's, it's a total, it's a systemic thing. It's a whole package we're, we're doing in Osho. And I'm sure within a short, 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 uh, in no distant time, it will see us, uh, um, you know, be, uh, setting the pace, uh, particularly in terms of agriculture. We want to let the, the whole nation see what is possible, uh, you know, across all those uh, commodity uh, commodities. All right, so um, I'm talking about the issue of preservation and all of that. We've had a couple of conversations here, and we see that area as an area that could, that could uh, um, you know, also provide employment, uh, attract investments and entrepreneurs. Is Oshun State working to attract the private sector to that area of preservation and storage, which is a huge gap that has been left for a while in our agricultural chain? Yes, clearly, clearly. One of the things that we are doing, you remember way back, we have all these farm settlements uh, across across the southwest, um, courtesy of uh, Ababa, and um, what we're trying to do now is to, uh, you know, try and refurbish, try and look at what we have uh, at the moment. You know, a lot of them have been grounded, but His Excellency has already told us to go and review all these areas and see how we can bring them back to life and then develop, develop um, new areas, uh, particularly for storage, you know, so that when, when these goods are properly stored, uh, properly dried for those that need drying, we're going to create drying platforms uh, so that these, because moisture is a major uh, challenge uh, with commodities. If you don't dry them well and you don't store them well, that will be a problem. You know, So we're going to bring the expertise that we have into the fore to ensure that um, the, you know, the warehouses, the storage facilities, are provided and um, you know like i said it's a value chain approach we are accessible to our farmers we are accessible to everyone along the value chain and we are meeting them you know where where they where their needs are and um i think that's the whole idea the whole idea is to be close to them the whole idea is to know what they want and then you know rather than thinking from your own head you know dialogue meeting 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 of minds and then providing solutions so that we can get agriculture, which is that area where we have comparative advantage. We can get it to work for, for Nigeria. And we're going to, we're going to start from Osho. All right, we expect. But what, what uh, immediate results can we expect to see from all these efforts, especially with this uh, pronouncement of uh, state of emergency on food insecurity? 
Yeah, you're going to be seeing that because every, for, for us in, in our show, we you know we, we are not we are not we are not waiting. We are not waiting. We want to yeah, begin to uh, bring out um, plans and bring out uh, organize ourselves in a way that, that we can give quick uh, uh, quick, uh, quick uh, results. Uh, area. What one thing I've also noticed is that Southwest needs. The, our farmers in the southwest they really need a lot of government support even the to prepare the ground alone is much more difficult in the southwest because of the kind of vegetation we have you know huge forests and all that so for a farmer to even start to plot the, the ground to, to to cultivate to plant is difficult or uh, you know across the uh, towards the north you know the vegetation is is uh, it's it's quite um, it's, it's savanna so as you can see it's easy so we are going to be supporting our, our, our farmers with the tractors, with, the, with our, you know harvesters and all that. So we're already working on that to ensure that you know we actually you know um, support them in mechanizing, uh, in mechanizing the agriculture, and that's how how we can we can even make it agribusiness to ensure that their livelihood is guaranteed. If an average farmer will be able to drive a car, an average farmer should be able to send his children to, to the right schools should not be disadvantaged in any way. And so that's the idea. That's our mindset, you know, so to 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 bring about a, 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 to change the narrative for for, for agriculture. Yeah but if, you, 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 Yeah insecurity still remains a challenge, you know. Um, in the agricultural landscape. I guess that is also, I think, the president said whenever they're having the Security Council meeting, the, I mean, this is going to be, the issue of food security will be a part of the conversation. A lot of farmers, even there in Oshusta, we've had stories of farmers who have been killed on their farmlands, and so that has scared a lot of farmers from going back to the farms. What is your government, what is the Oshusta government doing, you know, in this area? Thank you very much. Um, well, relatively, there has been uh, some good level of peace in in our show, uh, you know, as compared to most places. Uh, and we, uh, my 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 governor, is working with all the security uh, apparatus that we have in the state to ensure that our people are able to do their business on in that, you know, are they able to 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 friend to be able to, to you know. Um, make their own contribution to the economy of the state. So we're working on that. We're working on that. And, um, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's still, at least in our show, there's still that sense of peace and tranquility, which we hope will improve uh, over time. And I, and I know that with the, with the, with the, with the president, the president has been talking about, our president has been talking about peace and uh, security. I, I know that a lot of work has been done with the, New crop of um, security chiefs that we have. I believe we will we will have Nigeria will, will become safe again. Mm. We pray for that safety. But I, I I don't think we can end this conversation without talking about cocoa because I mean I I first knew, knew you as uh, you know somebody who is deals in cocoa exports of cocoa and uh, we've yeah. seen that as a major supposed to be a major source of revenue. We are looking for FX now. That's a major source. But we have seen that we are not hitting um, even our production of cocoa. We are, we, are, we are not even half as much as we should be doing and not to talk about adding value. Uh, so I believe now that you're in a place of authority controlling the agriculture in Oshun State and Oshun State is one of those cocoa producing states, then we expect to see some action, some, some new innovative and uh, progressive things coming from Oshun State. What can we expect from you, Mr. Fashero? You're a cocoa person and you're in Oshun State, so. Thank you. Thank you so much. In fact, the way you are saying it, I'm more grateful to to my middle governor, His Excellency Ademola Adeleke, for 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 putting me uh, on 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 the seat to drive the agriculture sector. Because I've been on the other side, you know, uh, advocate advocating here and there. I've worked with a number of ministers and uh, governors and all that. But now I'm on the driving driving. Driving seat. We are going to we are going to bring about that that change. I know for cocoa, it's been a bad story. We've been on 22. We've been on 250,000 tons for for, for for over for over uh, 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 
15 years. It's sad. While others, uh, Avico is galloping. Avico is, uh, is on, uh, Avico is on uh, 2.4 million. Ghana is over a million tons. So we are far behind. And we in uh, or sure we are going to we are going to make that difference. We're going to make that difference. We're going to be working with our, 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 our cocoa farmers, encourage them, give them high high yield, high breed seedlings. We're going to make land available. We're going to support them with with mechanization. We're going to include, you know work with. Uh, we're already talking with um, uh, cocoa cocoa research institute. Uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Dr. Adebola is and his, his, you know and, and his team. They're going to be working with us to ensure that you know seedlings are available and at the right time. You know, at times some of these seedlings are brought out when when the when the seeding the planting seeding is off. Now you have somebody who knows who knows how and who knows when, who who knows what, and that that's going to bring about a difference uh, in in our own states. And yeah. how soon can we expect to get our own chocolate instead of importing it or exporting, you know, the raw cocoa? How soon? I agree with you. He said that um, we do the bulk of the work and we get the less uh, or the least least in terms of the value, just about twenty percent of what we what we the value of the product that God has give, given to us. Uh, in, in, like I said, in in uh, in Oshu, the focus is agro-based industrialization, agro-based industrialization, and that's going to be. We're going to be working with partners. We're going to be across across uh, the globe, and and local as well. So we will we will drive industrialization of this agro-product, agro not just cocoa, cashews, you know, uh, and all the even cassava. We're going to drive it. We're going to drive. Have it. I'm, I can assure you that I don't. People know me uh, for when I say a thing, it, com it, it, it comes to pass. You know, I, I I can assure you that that will happen. We brought uh, cashews from a level of um, hundred thousand tons to, to uh, uh, when I got in as a leader, as a leader of the industry at that time, to about two hundred and seventy thousand by the time I left it. We brought the exchange, the, the, the foreign exchange. That we had, which was about fifty million dollars, brought it to about three, three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars, uh, four hundred million, um, four hundred million dollars from from fifty million dollars. So we would, we would, we would do the same. We would do the same. We would mm. do the same. We are, we have people that work with us all across the world. The contact will be used. The, the, our relations with the federal government, uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Trade. Going to network on that, and my my, my 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 governor also is already reaching out to the U.S. government and some other international uh, agencies that will support us, that will give us that partnership to make a difference. All right, just before we let you go, Mr. Commissioner, um, this state of emergency pronouncement, from your perspective now, what steps do you think can make it impactful? Looking at Nigeria as a whole now, not just the shoe state, what steps can you suggest? to make it beyond the pronouncement, but impactful for the country? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the state of emergency is long overdue. I mean, it's been it's something that we should have had long ago. I mean, rather than uh, paying lip service to agriculture, we, 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 have, to, we have to hit the ground running and, and, and change things. That's why we have these issues of um, foreign exchange scarcity, pressure on foreign exchange, the continuous uh, the, the devaluation of the naira, you can't um, you can't um, put something on nothing, you know. You can't put something on nothing. So I, I think we we need to we need to uh, go into the fundamentals, and uh, you know we, we, we can't we can't get this in our farmers. We can't uh, just allow them to waste away. We can't allow our our, our, our youth to be disenchanted with agriculture. We, we, we know today we, most of the farmers are aged and they're going. And so that's why, you know, so what we must make agriculture attractive to the youth. The youth will not want to do something that cannot give them the kind of res results that they want. We must know that this is a new age. This is a digital age, you know, so it, it, it's long overdue. And I think everyone across the, the board, you know, from the national level to the state level, 
for the local government level, we all have to work together. We all have to work together and, you know, put the right framework. The way our, our, our Papa Wola did it at that time, we, we have to do it and do it even better. It's, it's something that can be done. All we just need to do is to, be, to have sincerity of purpose, singleness of mind, that this agriculture, we will, we will make the best, we will make the best out of it. And, you know, technology, you know, digitalization, accessing the farmers, making the funding available to them, making land uh, easy to, to obtain, easy to clear, training them, you know, training the farmers and developing the infrastructure around around it. You know, I, I, you know in Osho, we're going to be ensuring that we have feeder roads. Feeder roads, my governor already said, we're going to have feeder roads and make it easy to access the farms and then for the, for the crops to come out from the from the farm to, to, to be marketed. These are areas where we, we, when you pay particular attention uh, to, to it, like we, we, are, we are going to be doing in Osho. It's, it's going to, you see the numbers, changing very, very quickly, you know, very quickly. How is Africa doing it? The number one in cocoa, they, between them and Ghana, do 40, 60% of the world out, you know, in cashew, they, 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 they're over a million, the number one. If they're doing it, we can do it. And we will also, we will also, one of the things we're going to do, you know, we will also go land, even from the area, from places where they're doing, we're doing it and then bring it in. How come, how come Vietnam is able to generate $3 billion from cashew? That's almost the whole of the non-all export in Nigeria, maybe today, is about $5, $5 billion. For one, one crop, the Vietnam is able to generate $3, $3, $3 billion just from one crop. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna do it. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll set the pace. I can assure you. See your words and remind you, maybe maximum of a year, even before that, we'll bring your words back to you and hope that you'll be able to defend it. Thank you so much for your time, Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture in Oshun State, Mr. Tola Asheru. Thank you so much, Ini. Thank you for having me. All right, now let's take a break. When we come back, we'll head to the commodity space to stay with us.